the European Union needs to be able to protect its citizens and its interests at home and abroad. The problem is that defense budgets are constrained across the European Union. So how to ensure that our armed forces are provided with the best capabilities in the most cost-effective way? Greater European cooperation on defense priorities is the answer. The European Defense Agency is the place where European member states that want to cooperate to strengthen their defense capabilities can do so. Its mission is to improve the effectiveness of defense expenditure by promoting cooperation and joint projects in the fields of military capabilities, armament, certification, research and new technologies, as well as strengthening Europe's defense industry. Set up in 2004, the EDA is a powerful catalyst at the service of its 27 member states. Key benefits to members include cost efficiency, it leverages funds many times greater than its annual budget, and leanness, it has fewer than 130 staff divided into three directorates, cooperation planning and support, capability, armament and technology, and European synergies and innovation. Another advantage is its flexibility. Projects can be launched with as little as two participating members. EDA really works à la carte. Increasingly, the EDA is becoming the proactive hub of the European defence community. It works closely with other EU bodies like the European External Action Service and the European Commission. It's the only EU agency whose steering board meets at the ministerial level, ensuring its decisions have political impact. Ten years ago, um, European member states decided that it was necessary to uh, forward cooperation in the defense field. Europe, as a security provider, needed a stronger cooperation in defense. The European Defense Agency is there to promote cooperation to produce the capabilities of the future, to support research and technology, and to ensure that the wider EU policies serve the interest of defence. Well, the situation at the moment in Europe is that we have 27 participating member states within the European Defence Agency, and each one of them has their own national military regulations, and they're all subtly different. So the challenge we have in trying to work together, in trying to do joint procurement projects, is that each set of national regulations needs to be satisfied, and that gives a lot of increased cost and a lot of increased time into any projects when we work together. The solution will be to have subject matter experts from each of the nations coming together and trying to harmonise their regulations into a single set of European military airworthiness requirements. Airworthiness doesn't just stop at design and production. Airworthiness also involves the in-service phase of the aircraft. So if we look at the A400M that we have behind me, that's coming into service with several nations across Europe. And so if we can harmonise maintenance, we can harmonise personnel training, we can harmonise licensing and the management of airworthiness, there are significant benefits available in reducing the cost of the through-life support to all the nations. EDA's role in all of this is to act as a facilitator to bring together the subject matter experts of all the nations so they can come together, we can harmonise the requirements working together and then EDA can then publish these to give back to the nations to then implement into their own national regulations. Ammunition qualification is uh, a crucial pooling and sharing enabler. Recent operations have highlighted the challenge member states face in stockpiling, procuring, exchanging or transporting ammunition together. And this is just because they implement the safety related standards in different ways. The consequences of the situation uh, operational due to the lack of interoperability, financial, the competitiveness of the European ammunition industry. 
European Defence Agency's action plan is focused on the implementation of the existing national and international standards in order to harmonise the Member States' policies and procedure, to enable Member States to conduct joint procurement, to reduce the total ammunition procurement cost and finally to enhance the competitiveness of the European ammunition industry. MASA is about maritime situational awareness, and maritime situational awareness is about understanding what's going on in the maritime domain. The added value for the Member States is that they can share an input to the maritime situation which comes from different systems and different positions. The role of the EDA was to bring together as many Member States as possible who would want to share in having the very best maritime picture. For instance, if there was an anti-piracy operation going on where ships from many member states and different navies were involved, they would be able to share the same maritime picture. We could also use it for other operations, for instance, if we were involved in an anti-pollution operation or perhaps even an anti-drugs or people trafficking operation. There are 15 member states involved and the great benefits of MARSA is it is a project for European navies built by European navies. So we'll give them the solution they want. Member states can come to EDA to find a space for exchange of views, for the expertise they need in defence fields, for sharing and pooling their demands and requirements in the defence field and to identify uh, opportunities for cooperation. It's also a place where they can have synergies and access to funding in the EU context. Cooperation is no longer a, an option, it's a need.